quote, Presidents are not kings, and plaintiff is not president. That blow to former President Trump from a federal judge last night halting Trump's efforts to block White House documents that could potentially shed light on his activities leading up to and the day of the deadly insurrection. It's a win for the January 6th House committee, though Trump is going to appeal it. But as Trump teases a possible 2024 run for president, CNN's Tom Foreman reports, the Republican Party and its donors need to decide whether or not they want to jump back on the Trump train. Thank you, Bill. It's a whopping amount even in big money politics. Close to a million dollars a week, according to the Washington Post. That is how fast donations are pouring in for the man who lost the last presidential election and has yet to declare he's in the next one. One of the things raising money this early does is it shows his power to the party. And I think you're seeing the, that effect in terms of people being afraid to take him on. Team Trump is raking in donations through the Save America Political Action Committee, the Save America Joint Fundraising Committee, the Make America Great Again Again Super PAC, and others. Collectively, his political groups reported more than $100 million on hand this past summer. Hillary conceded. I never conceded. Never. <laughs> Powering it all is an energetic campaign of direct solicitation emails, promising signed baseballs, T-shirts, Christmas decorations, like this stocking for $50, all feeding off supporters who have embraced the big lie. The election was stole from us. Trump won in a landslide. And there are ads, especially on Facebook, where Trump himself has been banned, but his fundraisers have not, calling the 2020 election corrupt, tainted, and Trump the true president. Some have continued the controversial practice of pre-checked boxes, which can unwittingly lead supporters into automatically increasing their donations. As far as spending the sizable war chest, the Trump Organization has reported giving little to Republican candidates, even as the party hopes to regain congressional majorities in next year's midterm election. And when it comes to 2024, the limits on donors, the demand for reporting, the rules about spending get more complicated the moment he declares his candidacy. So he's still playing coy. Make America great again. Dash, slash, comma, again. Make America great again, again, I don't know. We got a late notice from one of the Trump spokespeople who say he does indeed remain committed to helping the Republican Party retake Congress next year. And they say nobody else is better at that than the former president. That said, what you don't hear anymore, Jake, is what Donald Trump started his campaign with, a pledge that he was so wealthy, he'd pay for everything himself and not be out <laughs> shilling for money like other politicians. That seems to have gone by the wayside. Uh, along with many other things. Tom Foreman, thank you so much. Let's discuss with my august panel. So, Paul, uh, former President Trump just teased a 2024 run uh, to Fox, saying, quote, I think a lot of people will be very happy, unquote, with his uh, decision. Um, how does this affect the Republican Party? Well, uh, he, I think he's going to run. And that's not just me from the outside. Sure. Talk to people close to Trump. They say it's close to 100% certainty that he's going to run. Uh, that's going to chill, I think, any other, many other Republicans from getting in the race. And it's going to further solidify uh, what was once a great political party is now which has become a, a political death cult of personality around Donald Trump. And I, I, it's lamentable for the Republicans. It's dangerous for the country. But I think it's almost certain to happen. And, and what, as a Republican, what do, you, what do you think? Like Paul said, people around him close to Trump are indicating and signaling that he will run. And keeping that conversation alive and keeping the rumors around, that helps with the fundraising. It helps with, with them growing the supporters for Trump as if he needs that help. And it's, as, as he said, it freezes out the field. The concern from a traditional Republican or a rational Republican standpoint is, under Trump and his leadership, we lost the House, the Senate, and the White House. And his getting back on board is not going to change the dynamic. If we didn't learn anything else, we learned an important lesson in Virginia. Mm -hmm. People have gone past the Trump train. They, they are going back to the policies that unite this party and this country and not the personalities that divide us. And what we need to do moving forward as Republicans is not just look at who is going to rev up the base and be the strong supporter and candidate for the primary. We need someone who's going to win in the general election. And I don't see that's the way to, to do it with Donald Trump. You know, you saw Chris Christie out there, though, saying, you know, I'm, 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 I'm not going to let Donald Trump determine my 
potential presidential candidacy. If you don't think you can take on Donald Trump, you shouldn't run. And so he's saying to others, you know, don't let him freeze the field. Uh, however, as we all know, Donald Trump is hugely popular with the Republican base, and that's why a lot of folks are hanging back. But even if he, he did decide to run, as we're talking about here, and, and he may have already said, uh, but even if he says that he will be running, you're talking about freezing the field. There are realistically Republicans like Nikki Haley who are mm -hmm. unlikely to run if right. he gets into the race. There are clashes like with Ron DeSantis. It would be unclear what would happen if he would get into the race. At the same time, there are folks like Mike Pence who would still probably get in the race even if Donald Trump were running. So that's not to say that he would be the, the only candidate if he were to run in 2024, but there are Republicans who would back off. What about what this does to the Republican Party beyond the candidates that choose to run or not? Uh, what does this do in terms of, there are a lot of Republicans, look, to be clear, very few Republicans have been courageous when it, came to, when it comes to taking on the indecency of Donald Trump and the lies of Donald Trump. Um, you know, you could put them on, you could name them in one hand, list them in